Okay, so this is a quick short video on what kind of uh, travel modes to pick for your DCGs during the time that you intend to uh, use for your project with your intended model and follower. So, a reminder, it's got to have at least five parts, okay, and no more than ten. So a computer model with five solid part files and no more than ten. Okay, so for an example, it's got to have at least five parts. One, two, three, four, five, six, and no more than ten. So, some examples here. These are good objects to pick here, right? They're, they'll have more, uh, more than, they'll have the five parts, and they're not over complicated to do. So these are good to pick for your project. I would say don't pick something like this with the complicated grid patterns. And the reason I say no is because that's going to take you an awful long time to do once all works. It's going to be frustrating on you, okay? There's, cause some people might say, yeah, go on ahead and do them. Oh, doing it a long time. No no even third level students would have some difficulty in doing it. You spend a lot of time in, in the classroom. Uh, some schools it's difficult to get in the classroom to record it. So you might not have a lot of access to the CG room. So here's an example in 2017. Okay, that project didn't take that long and the student with about four marks on it. Do simple things well, right? Simple things well. In comparison, this one took an age to do with the complicated grip patterns there. So you can see when you're looking from the front of the elevation and then the side, how oh, that's an organic shape. Okay, it doesn't have any consistent structure and the grip up here. Okay, it was very complicated to do, and that took a long time. There's only so many marks going for SOLIDWORKS, and the brief doesn't state about the complexity of the uh, geometry of it. So keep these things simple. Okay, no to them, yes to these. Okay, so example here, this one here is something good. Pick something simple like this, model it well. Like look, it's got one part here, two, okay, in the lid, oh, on the flap, on uh, three, four, five for the rubber seam, okay, and then possibly six there at the bottom. Do these things well, like do the sweep on it for the tread, sweep here. Okay, a swept cut here, or possibly a lofted cut. Do those things well. Another example here. This travel mug here, it's simple enough to make. Okay, the handle. Okay, it's got one part here. Two. Okay, where's the lid for it? Three. Four. Five. Okay. And then in there the plastic seam six. You can use the tread with a sweat boss base. Okay, the body of it aloft. And the handle you can use with sweeps and some surface trimming. So pick sim huge advice will be to pick simple objects and do do the modeling very well on it. Linear patterns in there. Simple objects done well rather than complicated objects. Also, students do very well on. Spend a huge amount of time at it. So I do go with these simple ones. So think to yourself and your teacher because they they'll be uh, appreciating the less workload too.